Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Now it's been a quite some time since my last video, uh, probably like six months, half a year, but it's not time wasted because within that time I've learned quite a few neat tips and tricks to help you make your music co compositioning, compositioning, music creation easier. This is unscripted by the way, so sorry if I ramble on, but I have a little guide here to make my life easier. I want to show you a pattern generator, step recording, and velocity randomizer. In, of course, our good old trusty waveform. So let's get a project going. Let's just call this YouTube 2. Great project. Have you ever been in uh, this situation where you have this blank project? You want to make music, but you don't know where to start. You have no idea what you want to do. Let's first get a plugin in here. You see all these plugins, you're like, oh my god, where do I start? What do I do? What instrument do I use? Do I want it to be sad? Do I want it to be happy? You don't know. Y you have no idea. We're going to start with a, a velvet. All right. I need to put my MIDI keyboard here. I got my Key Station 49 Mark III from M Audio. I've been enjoying it. Now, let's say you have something in your head, but maybe it's too fast. Maybe, maybe you can't play it. It's 120 beats per minute, but maybe it's too fast for you. I found some very useful things on this left panel here. Last time I said to close it because I don't mess with samples. I still don't. You can press B to close it, press B to open it. But in this top left corner here, actions, there are some useful things. If you don't see pattern generator here, it's because we do not have this clicked, this MIDI thing. But we're not going to get to that just yet. We're going to click, double click this header up top on the MIDI thing. And we have this editor down here at the bottom. What we want is this step button. This thing is a lifesaver. When it's uh, clicked off, I can play, nothing happens. But when I click it, every time I hit a note, it will be recorded. At the uh, pace and beats per minute it is set to. So it's the notes are being recorded at 120 beats per minute for uh, 4 by 4 time. See? So you can freely play whatever you want and it'll record. But the downside is it'll record at 4 by 4 time at 120 beats per minute. The upside is if you're playing something quick and you're not a virtuoso keyboard player, like let's say the the freaking the pace is like 200 something 20 beats per minute and it's like time signatures over 8. Make it over 16. Okay, let me let me replace this with my mini grand so we can hear it better because I can reduce this dynamic response. Bring that there, bring this to soft, bring that to soft. Don't want to be blowing our eardrums out. Okay, right. I I could I could sit here all day trying to play that on my keyboard. It's not gonna happen. So instead we are just gonna play one little note at a time. And this is going to record it for us at the time signature we've set for it. So let's let's just play some notes. Okay, let's have a listen to that. Random notes. Like I can't. I make it even faster. You can make some crazy stuff. Anyway, that's one useful trip, uh, I mean, trip, trick you could use. Okay, sorry, anyway, I was getting sidetracked. Let's get to the next thing, the pattern generator. You could use this uh, note by note recording for some very useful things. If you have a fast section, you can't play <laughs> like a normal person. 
like me, I, I cannot play these these virtuosos high speed things. I'm just a beginner, all right. Let's make another track here. Gee, is that a small? Can we like make that a little bigger? Holy crap! Zoom in. Here we go. Okay, we have a track. Click on the track so you can see your pattern generator. Bring that up. Now we have options. I like to start with chords. There's bass line, melody, arpeggio, chords. Chords is how I like to start. Now I've already had this preset up. Let me delete all these just so I can show you again. Clear all. Now you have lots of options. We can go through one, through seven, through all of these, and then we have the C, <laughs> all the options for C, major triad, major six, diminished triad power, through B, it's a little crazy. So let's just simplify it. Let's say, do you want to make a sad song? Do you want to make a happy song? Do you want to make a crazy song? You could manually go through these, see which ones you like best. Let's click some random ones. Diminished seventh. A minor seventh. Or E diminished ninth. Or C minor sixth. First, let me replace this. This is not meant for drums. This is meant for... Let's try piano. Yeah. Bring that back out. Bring the dynamic range down. Bring this. I like, I like the soft one. And there we go. Let's have a listen to our random chords. Oh my god, looks like a mess. Oh, I forgot this is on 32 time. Bring that back down, jeez. That sounds like hot garbage. Do 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 do. See, it'll repeat forever because it's a generated pattern. Like, it sounds terrible, right? So let's just go to Google here. I typed in sad piano chord progression. I clicked on a random link and here we go. We have A minor, F, E minor, A minor. And here we have C, A minor, D minor, G, A minor, D minor, F minor, C. Let's, let's try this, let's try, let's try this one. So, oh, not there, here we go. Let's clear all this. Of course, you would want to keep it a pattern. If you're using C major ninth, you would want to keep it E major ninth, F major ninth, whatever. Okay, what was the pattern? A minor, D minor, F minor. A minor sixth, minor seventh. Let's keep it simple. Minor triad. What was it, D minor? Yeah, D minor. I'm my memory gone. D minor triad, it was F minor, I think. And then uh, let's C, let's C, let's keep it C major. Okay, they. this is supposed to be sad. Let's listen. Yeah, it sounds better than what we had. So let's work with that. Let's make another track and we're gonna make this one the bass line. So let's add an instrument here. Let's make it my good old cello section. I always like to give this a little more attack and release. Now this is a sketch plugin from Big Cat. They have a lot of neat free stuff you could get. So you should check them out. This pattern generator, bass line. And it should already carry over our predetermined pattern from the last go. There's our bass line. Let's have a listen. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. Let me turn this one down. It's there. You can hear it better this time. Okay, let's reset this back to zero. Now let's get to the neat stuff. Let's make some simple arpeggios. Add an instrument. Here, let's add a velvet. I think this is like a synthesized piano. I'm not gonna mess with any settings, so just leave it default. Click on the track, pattern generator. Uh, let's add an arpeggio. 
Now it starts with just a simple upward line. See, it already made the pattern. See what that sounds like without touching anything. See? Sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Now we can change the pattern. Look down here, click this, and the pattern's changed to match the line. It goes down up. Pretty cool. Now we can make it play up and down. So up and down. Let's listen to that. That's pretty cool. We can change the pattern here and we can change the steps, how quickly we want it to play. Now, when we change the steps, we get different pattern options because there's more notes to play with. Look at all of these. Oh my goodness, so much to play with. Let's keep it simple though. Let's have a listen. Oh my goodness. Like now I, I can't, I cannot play that. So I would have to rely on some help with the program here. And we can make it pattern length, make it slower. This extends the pattern, let's make it shorter. Oh my God, that's gonna be crazy. Let's listen. Jesus, sounds like some sweet picking guitar craziness. Okay, four seems to be the, the sweet spot here. Right, now let's get into the melody creator here. Let's add another track. Stretch that out. What instrument can we put here? You know, let's let's uh let's add velvet again. Uh we'll we'll mute this one. We'll just replace it with our melody. I'll show you how to use the melody. Ba -ba 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 melody. Melody is really cool. Now it already preloaded this, but you notice it loaded in a bunch of blank notes. It's within the same key and pattern, but they're blank. Because it's a, it's, it's, it lets us do this manually. So let's double click this. Now we're in this little editor and we can use this paintbrush and we can manually do it. The difference between the arpeggios and the melody is this melody will always follow this down here these times, or if we go to the pattern generator, we could go here, one fourth, and we can make it one eighth. Now we have a lot more notes to work with, or one sixteenth, one thirty second, one sixty fourth. If you want a whole lot of freedom, that's, oh my God, that's a lot of notes. Let's go back down here, one thirty second. Well, let's go to one eighth. Let's keep it simple. So we have all these notes to work with. Let's go. Let's do simple upward and downward. Just we're not gonna do anything crazy right now. Let's have a listen to that. Yeah, that's not bad. It's pretty cool. Now let's say you wanna what for whatever reason. You want a long note. Let's put a bunch of long notes. But you notice that they're individual. They're, they're gonna play it multiple times. Listen. So let's just highlight them and press Control M for merge. And now it's one long note. Wow. Can't really hear it, it's, it's in the cluttered mess. If you wanna separate that note, split it in half I mean, you press control forward slash, and we can do it again and again. Or you can merge them back together or split them up. You know, things can get a little messy when you do this, so be careful, because they're not gonna fit exactly but it's a useful tool. So when you're making a, a stretch note, just make sure that's where you want to do it. 
And I think that's pretty much all there is to that. It's pretty simple. There's one more little tip I wanted to show you. The velocity randomizer. Now you notice here, all of these notes are at 127 velocity. For this section, it's okay. It's just like a synthesized keyboard section. But if you're having like a section that's like this grand piano up here. Here, let's, let's replace this with the grand piano. Let's have a better example. Grand piano. And the dynamic response. Let me just turn that to off. Let's have a listen here and mute, mute these. Oh, wait. I'm listening to this. Turn that off. There we go. I was confused. Like, I, I wouldn't be able to play that. <laughs> it's not happening. So let's click this track. Control A. No, that selects everything. Let's zoom out. Oh, a neat trick is if you hold Alt while zooming out, you zoom out horizontally. If you hold Shift and zoom out, you zoom out like this vertically. And you could do it on here and here. It's separate. And if you hold control while zooming out, you can zoom out the entirety of everything. But let's get into the details of what I want to get into here. We have all these notes, and they're all 127 velocity. If we don't want that, we can just highlight these. Let's highlight these notes. And then you would press Alt V. Now we have randomized velocity. Now, by default, this is on 127, which is a bit high. Let's, let's keep it at 100 and 50. So some notes are softer, some notes are more, you know, powerful. Click OK. Boom. Now, at click random notes, this is at 83. This note is at 50. This note's at 53. This note's at 62. Let's have a listen. Now, it's not going to sound good because this is a generated pattern. But if it was like a melody, like something that's supposed to like be emotional, you would want random velocity. You would, of course, want to play it with your keyboard. But if you can't play it for whatever reason, you would use these generators, this melody tool, the step, gen the step recorder I showed you, like this thing, where you can record each separate note. And then you would go to the randomized velocity, and then you would tweak it. Like you would click a random note, and you can hold shift and click and drag up and down to make it sound harder or softer. Velocity 127, or bring it all the way down. Oh, that's up to you. That's up to your artistic choice, whatever the song demands. That's pretty much it though. I don't want to drag this on for too long. But now you're not limited to skill. You don't need to be a virtuos virtuosic, virtuosic. You know what I mean? You don't need to be a genius keyboard player to, oh shit, see? <laughs> My step recorder is still going even to every time I hit a note. Just make sure you have that off when you don't want to be recording notes whenever you hit something. But anyway, you don't have to be a virtuoso to play fast things. All you need is the idea, and now you have the know-how to do pretty much whatever you want. So hopefully that helped you out. And I will see you in the next one. I might make a tutorial on the basic rules of the keyboard that I've learned. Very good rules, like the notes from A to G, how to make them minor, how to make them major, how to like play chords and stuff. It's really neat stuff to know. But anyways, I'll leave this one for now. Hopefully I included everything. Again, this is unscripted. And if you liked, like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Leave a comment. Bye-bye.